Hello everyone, welcome back to Skeleton Bushcraft and Survival. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope everyone's having an awesome day regardless of what time it is that you're watching this video. Well, springtime is here. Time for ticks and mosquitoes to come out and cause problems. And instead of running to the store and spending all that money on those expensive sprays, today I'm going to show you how to make a repellent from home for free. Before I get on to the video, I do want to say thank you very much for all the subscribers that have already subscribed. Thank you very much. You know you're awesome. You really are. I greatly appreciate you. And if you're new and you like this content, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I upload at least once a week. Also, hit that like button. It really helps me out, get the video out and all that. So, I would greatly appreciate that. All right, so let's go ahead and get on with the video. All right, to make this repellent, it's just three main components. Cedar, plantain, and yarrow. I do have to make a disclaimer. Number one, on identification, especially on Yarrow, there are look-alikes. Hemlock and Queen Anne Lace both look similar to Yarrow. So if you don't know what that you know looks like and stuff like that, it's always best to have somebody with you that does know and to be able to point that out for you. Uh, hemlock is poisonous, so you definitely don't want to accidentally get that. I also have to mention that even though that I have not seen any kind of skin irritation on anybody with uh, cedar oil uh, for exterior use, I have seen for yarrow. And so it's best to practice precautions when you're messing with this right here. Uh, rub it on your skin and on your finger or something like that right there. Give it 24 hours before you proceed just to make sure that everything is good. More than likely it's not going to, but it is possible and the same thing with cedar it is possible i did make a video about cedar tea if you want to check that out it's, i'll post, post it up here and i'll put it in the description uh very strict on how that is handled though because there is a toxin in cedar but like i said for exterior use i've never heard of anything but anything can happen so let's go ahead and start in with what i've done here i've already started it up and it's Cedar, I've chopped it up in little bitty pieces, taking the bark off and stuff, just the wood, and I've placed it in there. I don't want to heat it up too fast. I want it to kind of slowly get up to, just to the point where it's a rolling boil, or, or right before a rolling boil. I don't want it to actually go into rolling boil. All right, you can see just a little bit of a, a boil there. That's exactly where I want to keep it. I don't want it to go any further than that. All right, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it has definitely turned to water red, which is exactly what we want. It's been 20 minutes that it's been boiling, and you see that it's not really rolling boiling, like I was saying before, but it's just been simmering like this for about 20 minutes, and we're ready to take it off the fire, take the cedar wood out, let it cool down a little bit, and then put the plantain and the yarrow in. All right, there it is with all the cedar removed. It's just the liquid now. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add the yarrow and plantains together. And then the same thing, we've gotta let that boil in with that water the same way as before so that we don't overcook it. All right, it's ready. As you can see, the water has turned dark, greenish, reddish green, kind of a, almost an orange color. You can't really see that, but I can. You'll be able to see it though, once it's all said and done with. But it's been simmering like that right there for 20 minutes, and uh, it's ready to be uh, strained out cool down and we'll be ready for the next step all right 
I've already got it in this little bottle right here. I first put it in here uh, just to let it cool down and to strain it out and get all the uh, yarrow and plantain out of it. And as you see, it's like an amber collar. Now I did add rubbing alcohol to it. The reason why that I did is because it does a couple of things for it and it still works. Uh, but it, I do it because of previous experience. And so I'm, I'm letting you know about it. Uh, I like to put rubbing alcohol in there to break down the oils a little bit so that it doesn't feel like uh, a grease on your skin and stuff. And it also actually helps it preserve it for about a year. And it does have an expiration date. Um, we're using natural uh, vegetation and stuff like that. But uh, with the rubbing alcohol in it, it allows it to last for about a year. And uh, it feels a lot nicer when you put it on your skin. It's not oily, you know, and it actually has a pretty good smell to it. So that's it for me. I appreciate you coming along. Uh, before I go, I do want to uh, throw out a shout out. Uh, Corporal Corner. And the reason why I'm giving him a shout out is because I've been watching him for years. And I have a great deal of respect for him. I seen a video the other day and he gave a whole bunch of shout outs to channels that hadn't yet made it yet. That, that's an awesome guy. He's almost to a million subscribers and he's helping out the little guy. Yeah, I, I really have a lot of respect for him for that. He's wanting to get to a million subscribers and I love to see people succeed. And he definitely deserves to succeed. I would love to see him reach a million. So if you haven't checked his channel out, I'll leave a link in the description. And uh, yeah, let's, let's try to get him up to a million subscribers. All right, well, like I said, that's going to be it for me. Thank you very much for coming along. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this type of video, please like share and subscribe i have many more coming up in the future until then take care and remember nature it does provide